It's that time, everybody. It's that time to talk about the Silver Eagles of all Silver Eagles. In 2021, we had a lot of fun. The old heraldic, the brand new Domstra, Unks, Proofs, Satins, oh my. But the rarest of them all was what? The reverse proof. And they're finally back. It was a two-piece set known as the Designer Edition, but it really meant they were reverse proofs. Right? We make unks, we make burnished or satin, we make regular proofs, and then in 2006 we introduced a brand new type of coin. It also happened to be a silver eagle, reverse proof, where in the past the frosted image would be Lady Liberty and the background would be a mirrored background. They inverted that or reversed it out. So the movement from one design to the other, Domstra's design from 1986, I mean, John Mercanti's design from 1986 all the way through 2021, and then the brand new design, Emily Domstra, right, from 21 moving forward. The obverse stays the same except for that slight AW I'll show you in a minute, but the reverse was the change. We went again from heraldic to eagle landing. Reverse proofs, reverse proofs, remember that, that's the key. Regular silver eagles, the uncirculated coins, the bullion coins, right? Give or take 20 million across the board, both types. The proofs, they made 300,000 regular issue proofs. A W of that design, there's the W mint mark, by the way. And then when the new design came out, they made a W at 300,000 again. Then they made an S mint at 200,000. And then they made this one, this set, at only 125,000, it is the most limited Silver Eagles of 2021. And if you break it down, it's actually some of the most limited Silver Eagles ever. Ever. The only coins rarer are what? We have 30,000 of the S enhanced reverse proofs. That was 2019. We have the 95W, right? That was 32,500. Then we have the 2020 V75s. That one is 75,000. Then we go to the 2019 Pride of Two Nations, that was 110,000. And then the next on the chart of all Silver Eagles, all types, all kinds, is this one right here at a buck 25, 125,000. But it's the most significant set of the year. So they didn't raise it, they lowered how many are available to the American public. Look at this price, divided by two, it means you're under $150. The W of that coin sells for 169 to 179. They made 300,000. The W of the Eagle Landing design, same thing. Now again, in God we trust, and now in God we trust with a W, no, it's an Adolf Wyman, A over W. That's the only change in the obverse. So this is that special set. This is the collectible set of the year. It also happens to go down as the set for reverse proofs. As I referenced, they introduced reverse proofs in 2006 with the 20th anniversary. Right? 248,000 and change were made. Then in 2012, San Francisco got their own reverse proof in that two-piece silver set. That was 224,000. And then in 2013, the year right after that, San Francisco joined in. I'm sorry, West Point joined in and got their special two-piece set where the reverse proof was 281,000 in change. This one, 125,000, again, the lowest minted coin of the year in the Silver Eagle family, yet on a coin-by-coin -coin basis with us buying the set tonight, which is the way the government sold it, special. We got our competition selling the individual coins for $200 to $225 each. And again, there's no OGP, original government packaging, because this is the original government packaging, the two-piece set we're showing you here in a second in a wider shot. They're selling the same exact set for $3.99 to 
So $100 more for the same beautiful collectible set. The rarest of the rare from the year we transitioned from the old heraldic to the brand new Eagle Landing. But the numbers on the collectible coin side are staggering when you listen to them. 300,000 W's of the heraldic design when the year started. Wow. 300,000 of the brand new design, Eagle Landing. Wow. Shortly thereafter, 200,000 of the S-Mint proof of the Eagle Landing. Wow. Then they bring out the burnished satin finish at 175,000. Oh, wow. And then this one comes out a little bit later in the year at 125,000, and it was the roar. How fast did this thing sell out? Do you remember? If we thought that S Enhanced Reverse Proof in 2019 was fast, what about this one? But the best part is, it's the coins, and you see the transition from one design to the other. Again, obverse is the same except for that Adolf Wyman below the God We Trust, the A over W. The reverse, whole different story. Oh, and by the way, have I got there yet? I have not. To make it even more special, they made the Type 1, the coin we just turned over, the heraldic reverse, a W, a West Point Mint, and the Eagle Landing on the right is a San Francisco. The bit mark below the wing at about 3 o'clock. So the W is at 7 o'clock, the S is at 3 o'clock, mint marks. They gave us two different mint marks on this special set on top of that. It's just a great collection. So when the proofs are selling for, the ones that have 300,000 known are selling for 150 to 170 easy. Can't keep them in stock. It's the end of an era and the beginning of a new. Either version, WS, either design. Then there is what? The satins, which sell for a significant premium because their mintage is quite low at 175,000. But that's when this one kicks in. The rarest of the year, and when you, break, when you divide our set, price-wise, in two, it's less than all of them. It's the rarest stuff in the original government packaging at the best price. Guys, we've got to put a 30-second clock up. Thank you all for your patience. Phones have been very busy tonight. No exception with this set. So not $399 to $499. We're at $299.95 in the original government packaging. Not $200 to $250 per coin, which comes from this set. This is it. 125,000 sets were made, sold out instantly, gone. The most limited of the last of the heraldic and the first of the eagle landing. This is one of my favorites. It deserves an oh my. Join us.